What is up guys and welcome back. Right, this video, I'm going to show you the locations to every weapon and every gun holster in the game. Now some of these clips are taken from my collectible guides, other ones I'm going to re-record the audio myself. So let's get into it. Okay, they have been dealt with. There is some serious shit connecting with a fan in this area. You will see what's happening here. I'm going to come right through here and grab the first artifact right down here. It is a plan. Okay, then we're going to open the big ass vault. We're going to grab our first weapon as well. Give me the shotty. Thanks, dude. <laughs> then. Okay, next up, we're going to grab an artifact, a trading card, and a pet storage key. We're right up there in the north, northwest, you can see. We're going to smash some windows. I've got to start walking towards buildings so that doesn't happen all the time. Then, the big blue trading card is going to be in this drawer. Then, the pet storage key is going to be right in the back here. Right there. Orcos. Okay, next up, we're going to have an artifact, we're going to have a gun holster, as well as a stun bomb. As you can see there, we're on 6th Avenue, and we're going to use the pet key we just picked up to open said door. Bunny! Is it a bunny? Couldn't see it. We got it. We got it. We can only assume this is going to be full of enemies. What the hell is this place? Nope, no enemies. Okay, we head over to the copy machine, which is over here. Oh. As soon as I find some other enemies. Then in here, gun holster right over here. Thank you. And that is the long gun holster. Awesome. We're going to equip it. Then the stun bomb is going to be chilling right over here. Along with a whole lot of other items in this area. So have a good search. Alright, let's go. Okay, next up is going to be the trap mine, guys. This is going to be on chapter 11. And in the description, you will find links to all of these as well. Although it's not that easy to show because there are no maps involved except for downtown. Chapter 9. Head up here. And uh, as you can see, I've kind of edited out the collection of the artifacts and other collectibles. And just sticking to the weapons and holsters. So there's two each. Two long, two short holsters. And uh, there is the trap mine. Very soon, guys, I'm going to be starting my um, live streams of the hardest setting survivor. And uh, I'm going to see how much that's going to kick my ass. Because I played it once through quickly on easy. And uh, I didn't read any of the letters or do anything like that. So the stream's going to be full on story mode. And uh, reading everything and just taking my time. So the bow over here is going to be unmissable. It is story related. And remember, don't craft any arrows just yet unless you have to. Because uh, you will find arrows in the dummies in the garden just outside the garage door here. Yeah. This will do. Okay. She wrenches it away from her. I'm assuming that thing on the ground is a her. I have no idea why I said that. But next up is going to be the short gun holster. And this is going to be in the chair. Oh, chest. I was going to say chest. Uh, it's going to be in the safe. And uh, the combination is going to be 30, 82, 65. And I will show that as well. Once again, just going to edit out the collectible there. For your convenience. And here you have to move uh, the dumpster away. And there's a bucket load of enemies in here. Very excited to actually try this on the hardest setting. But I would love to play it on the big screen. As my editing computer is only a 27 inch monitor. And it's not HDR. So I want to want to experience the game for everything that it is. Okay, we're going to grab that stuff in there. As well as the shotgun holster. Thanks for playing. Equip, please. So I did uh, finish the game this morning. And uh, obviously not going to have any spoilers here, guys. Um, I'm still on the fence about the ending. And some of the decisions the characters themselves made. But um, I think it'll sink in after a while. And I think also I need to uh, read some of the letters to get some of the backstory and stuff as well. And um, there's a lot of storyline involved in those letters. And like I just said, the backstories giving you more context on their actions. So I'm going to reserve judgment for now 
And then uh, after my next playthrough on Survivor, if I ever get through that, <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna. But uh, definitely gonna give it a bash from what I've learned so far. And uh, which weapons to upgrade first and that kind of stuff. So stay tuned to my channel, guys, if you want to watch the live stream of that. And uh, if you are playing the game currently and you don't want to have any spoilers, it's going to take me a long time to get through this. So even if you're on chapter 9, 10, 11, 12 onwards, it'll take me days to get there on the survivor difficulty because I am really going to take my time and, uh, like I said, read all the letters and get the most context that I can. Double barrel shotgun and the shotgun holster going to be right down here. Again, this is going to be part of the story. You'll come to this area. Dropping down from the top, and that little alleyway to the left is where you'll start the level. But uh, it'll guide you here, definitely. And from there, we're going to head over to the gun holster, short gun this time. And again, this clip was taken from my collectible guides, which are almost all up now. But uh, I've got about 10 more levels to <laughs> chapters to edit, and I will do that after this. I just wanted to throw this up here beforehand. And I'm missing one safe uh, location uh, clip, Martyrs. otherwise I would have put that up first. So over here, you're going to get to this container. To the right of you now, there is a door, which is over here. So head through here again. You'll come here, part of the story. And uh, we're going to edit out the collectible. And we're going to head into the room for our shotgun holster right here. Yeah, super excited for my next playthrough. Uh, I'm still uh, I'm not sure if I should stream it or not, but... Um, I think I will, just for the hell of it, see how it goes, maybe do it on the harder setting, jump in the deep end, as the characters are almost full, fully upgraded, a couple more to do on each one, but uh, you can't do it all in one playthrough. Next up, long gun holster. Let's see, this is inside the warehouse there to my left. Let's do it. Just through this door, past the workbench. Well, through the next door. And this is chapter 31. I was looking at my notes now and it said chapter 3. And I'm like, no, nah, that's not right. Definitely missing a digit there. Long gun holster. Yes, please. So, so vital. Depending on your encounters will depend on which ones you actually have equipped in the shortcuts. The crossbow is 100% story related and cannot be missed. But we're going to show it anyway just for the continuity. Awesome level this, in the boat, and I love the ocean, okay. and uh, the sound effects, and the rain, and the storm, and uh, the lightning, it's awesome, just love it, you love people? it to bits. Crossbow is a brutal, brutal weapon, I still don't have the rangefinder equipped on that. Flamethrower, the dragon weapon, as Lev will say. You come through over here, again, this is the storyline path, you can jump across there, or you can walk along here. Being very careful about this little fella here who will jump you. They come out of the walls and they do not show up on your uh, vision. You're going to head through here, then uh, across another beam. And our flamethrower is going to be chilling right there. And that's when we give thanks to uh, how she says it right now. Thank you, Fedra. Thanks, Fedra. Okay, that is the penultimate weapon. The last one is going to be the silent submachine gun, guys, which you will get automatically. Oh, this guy still nails me. You get 100% via the storyline and uh, cannot be missed. And your trophy will pop as well. So you get to the resort, chapter 44. And uh, you will get the gun, as you will see before in the scene this. In the scene before this, should I say. And I just pulled it out now so you can see the silent submachine gun new weapon there. And my trophy popped as I was walking away from that cutscene. So that's going to be it, guys. Remember, if you're having trouble with any trophies, you can email me from the description, and I can help you get those tricky trophies and the tricky platinums via share play. Also, guys, if you are enjoying the content, pretty please smash that like button. And if you are really enjoying it, hit subscribe. So I want to say thanks for watching, guys, and I want to catch you on the next one.